When solving simultaneous equations, our aim is to find an x and a y value that will satisfy both equations. The ones here in front of us are going to be solved by a process of elimination, and that usually occurs when x's and y's, or whichever letter you're trying to solve for, are on both sides of the equation. We'll label each equation 1 and 2 so we can refer to them throughout the problem. To solve equations by the process of elimination, we have to consider the number in front of the variables, or what's called the coefficients. Now if no number exists, like in the case of each of the x's, that number is actually a 1. So we've got the same number in front of the x's, and we've got a 1 and a negative 2 in front of the y's. So to eliminate the variables, it would appear as though it's easiest to subtract the two equations, subtract 2 from equation 1, and that way we'll remove the x's because 1x minus 1x is 0. Now going down the matching columns, or the matching colours, we can see that y minus negative 2y, and we need to consider the negative, will be 3y, because y minus a negative is like adding. Going down the constants on the right hand side, we've got 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. So now what we do is we solve it like a normal equation, 3y equals 3, 3 multiplied by y means to remove the 3, we have to divide both sides by 3, so we get y equals 1. What we now do is substitute it back into one of the equations. You can choose either one of them, equation 1 looks easy enough. So we're going to substitute y equals 1 into the first equation. You can see we've replaced the y with a 1. Now what we need to do is solve this like any other equation. So to remove the plus 1 we need to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. And if we do that we get an answer of x equals 6. So the final result is that x equals 6 and y equals 1 and these solutions work for both equations. Of course the easiest way to confirm that is to substitute them back into both of them to check to see that you get the correct result.